Hey guys, it's Jessica and welcome back to the Sugar Crystal Kitchen. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these Rocky Road Brownies. They are such a crowd pleaser because they look absolutely beautiful, but they're super easy to whip up, so let's get right into the recipe. First off, you want to melt down a half cup of unsalted butter in the microwave, and into that you want to whisk in one cup of granulated sugar. And next into that you want to sift in 2 thirds cup of unsweetened cocoa powder. And then whisk that in until it is well incorporated. Now you want to crack in 2 eggs and then whisk those in as well. Now you also want to stir in a teaspoon of vanilla extract just to give that extra boost of flavor. After that, you just want to sift in the rest of your dry ingredients, 3 quarters of a cup of all-purpose flour, a half teaspoon of baking powder, and a pinch of salt into your chocolate mixture. Now just go ahead and fold in your flour mixture with a spatula until everything is well combined. Don't over mix it or else you will get a tough brownie and you don't want that. Now for Rocky Road brownies, you cannot forget the chocolate and the almonds, so I added in a half cup of mini chocolate chips and a half cup of chopped toasted almonds and folded that through as well. Now here I just have a parchment paper lined 9 by 9 inch baking pan and I am just placing all of my brownie batter into that and using my spatula to smooth it all out into the corners and making it nice and flat. Now once your brownie batter has been nice and flattened out inside of your baking pan like I have done here, go ahead and just pop this into a preheated oven at 325 degrees Fahrenheit and bake this off for 35 minutes. And meanwhile, we will work on the chocolate ganache topping. So here I just have two tablespoons of heavy cream that I popped into the microwave to heat it up. And then I added in about four ounces of semi-sweet chocolate into that and I let that sit for about five minutes until I went back and stirred it with my spatula so it looks nice and glossy like this now. And immediately once your brownie comes right out of the oven, go ahead and just top that with about another half cup of toasted chopped almonds and a half cup of marshmallows. You cannot forget the marshmallows because this is Rocky Road. And then with that ganache that you set aside earlier, go ahead and just drizzle that all over your brownie and all the toppings and this ganache will just help set everything into place. Once you've finished drizzling your ganache all over your brownie, go ahead and pop it into the fridge for about 15 minutes to let that ganache firm up. And after that, just take it out of the fridge and place it onto a chopping board and then you can cut them into nice square brownie pieces. And that's it for how to make these Rocky Road brownies. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. Rocky Road brownies are super easy to make and they taste absolutely amazing. The chocolate with the toasted almonds and marshmallows and that lovely ganache drizzle really finishes off this dessert. So I hope you guys give this recipe a try. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see y'all next time. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.